In this video, we're going to talk about backgrounds and working with the Maya Software Renderer. The Maya Software Renderer is great as far as being able to create and generate specific models and being able to go through and quickly get them running. It also works with a lot of different computer types as well. However, if I go up to the Render Preview and we do go under Maya Software and take a look, normally by default you have this black backdrop that is occurring in the background here. But what if you actually want to add a color of some sort? We don't have a lot of control as far as backgrounds are concerned in the Maya software package. So, but what we can do is we can use a camera in the scene to actually add some background color. So to do this, we're going to have to come over and actually add an additional camera into the outlier in the scene. To this point, we've really just been relying on positioning ourselves in the perspective view and then outputting a render. But now what we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to add a camera. To find the camera icon, you're going to go up to your main tab bar and go under rendering, and you're going to want to create a camera. And it'll create a camera on the grid for you. Now, one thing to point out to everybody is I'm working with some pretty massive sized uh, models here. So that the first thing I'm going to do so that I can actually find it is I'm going to go to my scale tool and actually scale up my camera. This is more so that I can actually find the camera while I'm working and be able to position it accordingly. Now, one other thing here whenever I'm working with a camera is what I often like to do here is over on the left-hand side, there's a panel layout where as far as your options go, you can kind of snap into a two-view mode here. And one of the things that I like to do is, as far as whenever you're going through and working with the different camera options, and when you're working with the specific camera options, is you have a couple of options, but if I go under view and I just cycle through cameras, since I only have the one camera in the scene, it'll pop up for me here. So now I can actually work in my perspective view, but also see what is changing through the camera lens as I go through and change the overall layout here. So maybe I actually go, kind of bring this down a little bit and try to get like an interesting angle going on for these two dinosaurs. Now, the only other thing to point out is whenever you're working with a camera, as far as the Maya software renderer is over in your attribute editor. You're going to have the camera shape one. I'm not going to go into in this video as far as the different type options as far as depth of field, but what you're going to want to look for is under environment. You're going to want to choose a background color. So for instance here, I can actually choose and come in and pick a color. So maybe I decide to do, you know, try to make it a little bit dusky here. And now, just to show you, if I were to go in, first off, by default, by rendering, just a reminder, I wanted to show you this, by default, you're going to be in that perspective view. You need to remember, as far as whenever you're coming in to render through a camera a lens, you need to come under the render drop-down menu and go to render and choose your camera that you would like to use. Notice when you do that, now I actually can see the background color that I applied as far as my overall design.